Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a new video for you guys and it's all about finding peace for your troubled heart. First and foremost, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I make videos about my natural hair, about my faith, makeup, you know, everything of that nature. So if you are new, please make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any more videos like this from me. And welcome to my channel. If you are not new to my channel, Thank you for coming back. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so. Also, make sure that you follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my day to day life with more day to day encouragement. Definitely make sure to follow me on Instagram. My name is Leah's Essence on there. I'm going to get right into this video about finding peace for your troubled heart. So, this is something that's very important to me. There's been a lot of different seasons in my life where I struggled to find peace. I struggled to really have peace in my heart peace in my mind peace in my spirit whether it be you know um, going through depression when i was in college or going through a breakup when i was in college that really made me feel down and having the loss of different family members um there's been different seasons where i just didn't have peace so there have been times where i've truly struggled with anxiety and depression in the past and i know for a fact that the enemy comes to steal kill and destroy and that has very much so to do with our peace if he can't get anything else sometimes he will really just try and take our peace and i just know that that's not okay so i wanted to make this video for you guys because in the past when i dealt with depression and anxiety i didn't truly know you know as much about god as i know now so when different instances come about in my life now that really jeopardize my peace i know where to turn i know how to fight back and in the past when i didn't know i really really struggled so i wanted to make this video to encourage you guys you know not to say that life won't happen and your peace will not be jeopardized and the devil is not going to try and steal your peace but really just encourage you guys to know where to turn and just some tips that have really helped me and some scriptures that have really helped me. So if you are interested, keep watching. Tip number one is to really be sure to write down some memory verses that you can use to fight back. The Bible says that the word of God is our sword. It's what we use to fight back against the devil. So we have to have some scriptures to pray, to meditate on when hardships do come. Definitely make sure to find some scriptures that you can use, you know, Google different scriptures about, about what you're experiencing. When the devil comes after you, recite that prayer. Um, when the devil comes after you recite that scripture and it really makes a difference so be sure to get some memory verses down and if you see me looking down I have notes on my phone tip number two is to pray to God go straight to God and tell him what you need I think there's so many times where we feel like we have to be perfect when we go to God or we got to clean ourselves up when we go to God but if you're struggling to even go to God at all pray to him and say Lord I'm struggling to turn to you I feel like I'm being pulled in all these different directions I'm not able to find peace and I'm struggling to even want to turn to you be honest because God knows anyways so I think that we do ourselves a disservice when we feel like we have to make ourselves up Go straight to God as you are, where you are, and I promise he will meet you there. I have had so many experiences in my life where I just felt just out to dry almost, but God met me there and he will meet you there too. So in Psalms 147 verse three, in the New King James Version, it says, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. That's what the Bible says. So if you're feeling like your heart is broken, write that verse down they're all going to be down below in the description box write that verse down and meditate on that and it's true he literally does bind up your wounds when your heart is broken so the next verse i wanted to share with you is in psalms 34 verse 18 through 20 in the christian standard bible and it says the lord is near the brokenhearted he saves those crushed in spirit one who is righteous has many adversities but the Lord rescues him from them all. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. It's so true, you guys. When you are brokenhearted, God is so close to you. He's close to the brokenhearted. And we just have to know that. We have to acknowledge that. You know, he's our father and he's not going to turn his back on us because we're going through a difficult time. That's just not his nature. He's there with us. He's walking with us. And we just have to find comfort and peace in that. That he knows what we're going through and he's with us. And he's not leaving you. He's not turning his back on you 
you. He's right there with you. And it says it right here that one who is righteous has many adversities. So we're gonna have hardship. Bad things are gonna happen to us and we're not always gonna have a flawless, perfect, smooth life. But the Lord rescues him from them all. And in my case, her. He rescues her from them all. So God is always gonna be there for you and he's gonna rescue you even when you face hardships. He's not gonna leave you there and none of our bones will be broken. So he's going to be there for us. The devil's gonna try us, but he's not gonna get the best of us. Tip number three is know that God is working everything out for your good. Trust him even when you don't know what's going to happen. Trust him even when you don't know how it's gonna turn out, when you don't know what's gonna happen, trust him. It's hard, it's not easy to trust God when it's super difficult. It's so much easier to trust God when everything is going well, when everything is going flawless. But you know, the Lord challenges us to trust him when things are not going well because if we take those burdens and we try and carry them ourselves, we're not gonna make it. We don't have the capacity. That's why the Bible says to cast our cares onto him for he cares for us because we can't carry them and God knows that. So it's important to trust him and allow him to do what he's supposed to do and believe that it's gonna work out. That takes a certain level of faith and it's not easy, but faith is built in these moments and be encouraged by that. And some of my lowest moments you know, since I've come to know God more, I've been encouraged knowing that, that you know, no matter what I'm going through, at least God is trying to, to grow me in this area. God is testing me because he wants me to grow and um, find comfort in that. So the verse I wanted to share with you guys about this is Hebrews 11 verse 1 in the New, in the New King James Version. And it says, now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith has nothing to do with what we can see. Faith is truly relying on God and trusting God despite what we can see. We don't know how the end of the story is gonna be, but we have to have faith even though it's hard and be comforted. I don't know where you are right now. I don't know what you're experiencing right now. I don't know what the devil is trying to do to you right now, but be comforted and have faith that God is gonna work it out because he already has. We just have to walk through life and trust him and lean on him. And the other verse I wanted to share with you guys is Romans 8 verse 28 in the Christian Standard Bible. And it says, we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. Everything is gonna work together. It might not make sense now, but trust God's word. It's so much harder to go through life when we don't trust God's word. It's a lot harder. Put the effort in trying to trust and believe like god i know you're gonna make a way i don't see how i don't know where i don't know how it's gonna take place but god i'm gonna trust you because that's the only option i can't figure it out myself i can't make sense of what's going on lord but your word says to trust you so i'm gonna put my faith in that instead of putting my faith in trying to figure out what i just cannot figure out he's gonna work it together for our good and believe that and if you don't believe it and you struggle to believe it, pray to God and ask him to help you with your unbelief. I mean, we got to be coming to God real, straightforward. God, this is what I'm ex I'm actually experiencing and this is what I actually need because we cannot be trying to put on our, our Sunday's best, go into God and expect that we're going to be changed. We got to be vulnerable. We got to be honest and we got to be open and say, God, I'm struggling to believe. Can you help me with that? You know, and that's where the the change is going to be made and that's where the chains are going to be broken when we just humble ourselves and say god i don't have it all figured out so my fourth tip is to find a way to express what you're going through healthily I like to journal so sometimes i'll write just you know what i'm experiencing just regular style and then other times i will pray in my journal and just write you know god i need your help with this jesus this is what i'm going through and that really helps me but you have to figure out what works best for you you can do many different things if you like to sing make time to sing to take care of yourself express what you're going through if you have close family that you can trust and friends that you can trust turn to them share with them what you're going through allow people to pour into you because sometimes if you're the type of person that pours into people all the time you you deserve to be filled up too as well you know turn to the people that are closest to you and allow them to walk with you through what you're experiencing 
Also, consider seeing a Christian counselor. That's something that um, I don't think is super talked about online, but it's okay if you want to see a counselor and you want to see a Christian counselor, that's fine. Seek guidance from your local church. You can seek counsel from your church and you know there's different ministries that you can reach out to where they should be able to help point you in the direction of someone who could walk with you. Um, and if you don't have a church, you know, maybe this is a, a good time for you to join a church, to find a church, to find that that body of believers that you can grow in your faith with is so, so, so important. But ultimately know that God would not put more on your plate than you could bear. He would not give you more than you could handle. He just wouldn't do it to you that way. I'm just telling you. So be encouraged to say, God, you really, you trusted me with this? You trusted me with this situation? Be flattered because despite whatever it is, it's gonna grow you. And God test us according to where we are. So you wanna pass the test, lean on him, and you will make it through. He would never put more on your plate than you could literally handle. So tip number five is to seek the Holy Spirit for guidance. And this is not just like a one-time thing or only in the morning sort of thing. No, you can seek the Holy Spirit for guidance all day long. For example, before I filmed this video, I said, Holy Spirit, guide my words help my words to be encouragement to somebody who was going to hear them lord help the scripture that i'm sh that i'm sharing minister to somebody who's watching we have to submit to the holy spirit in everything that we do and the holy spirit will guide us we just have to train ourselves to listen to his urging so the verse for that is psalm 32 verse 8 in the new international version and it says i will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. I don't know about y'all, but these scriptures are very encouraging to me. And this is kind of, these are scriptures that I have really meditated on throughout difficult seasons in my life. Um, and it makes a difference. You know, the Bible's clearly just saying, I will instruct you and I will teach you in the way to go. So don't worry about trying to figure it all out yourself. Seek God, commune with God, and he will help guide you through it. We don't have to be walking through life by ourselves. So tip number six is don't stop believing what God can do in your life. Don't give way to the devil and his lies. Don't believe them. Believe God, believe his word, and believe that he wants the best for you. Don't stop believing God's best for your life. Don't stop believing because only he knows the plans that he has for us, right? We don't know the plans that, that, that God has for us. So we have to believe in him and believe his best, even when it's difficult. We have to fight for our peace. We have to fight for our peace. Like I said at the beginning of this video, the devil comes only to kill, steal, and destroy. So we have to fight and say, no devil, you're not gonna have my peace. No devil, you're not gonna have my mind. No devil, you're not gonna have my heart. You're not gonna have my life. We have to fight, but we have to fight the right way and it's knowing the word of God, meditating on it and being able to fight back and standing on the word and say, you know what, no devil. The Bible says that God is near to the brokenhearted. My heart is broken and God is with me. No devil, you can't have my joy. You can't. And I'm gonna tell you why, because, and this is one of my favorite verses. This verse is so important to me because I meditate on it often whenever I feel like the devil is trying to steal my peace. The joy of the Lord is your strength. That's it. The joy of the Lord is your strength. So I'm fighting for my joy. No, you can't have my joy. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. If I give you my joy, devil, then you're gonna have my strength. But no, the, God has given me joy. Today is the day that the Lord has made. So I will rejoice and be glad in it. You can't have my joy. You can't have my praise. You can't have my life. You can't have my voice. And we gotta fight back. We have to fight back. We have to stand strong. Stand strong on the word because it's not changing. God is the same today yesterday, tomorrow, every day to come. Stand strong on his word and find peace in his word. Find comfort in the fact that he's close to the brokenhearted. Find comfort in the fact 
that the Lord is walking with you, that he goes before you, that he knows everything and that he's always there. He's omnipresent. Know that, believe that, trust that. The devil's going to try and come to you and scare you and confuse you and give you doubt. Recognize it for what it is. Recognize that he's coming to do what the Bible said he was going to do, which is kill, steal, destroy. Recognize that and just don't fall for it because he's scheming. He's scheming. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. God has given us way too much wisdom to fall for the schemes of the devil. So I wanted to make this video to encourage you, no matter where you are, if you feel like your peace is being jeopardized, whether it's at work, at home, in a relationship, with your family, with your finances, do not let the devil win. We can't see the big picture, but God can, and it's all going to work together for his good. I just ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up, share it with someone who you think could benefit from this message, and comment down below what you do to strengthen your peace in the Lord. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.